What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we defeated the Elite Four. And look at that, Sparky has presented us with a nice present, and that happens to be a small bouquet made from the heart and soul of a single trainer, or for a single trainer, and... Well, you, you you earned yourself a nice rub in the head. That's right. Good boy. That's right. Okay, so, yeah, we defeated the Pokemon League champion, and just like Barry in Pokemon Platinum, Trace is like, Anybody home? And, yes, he is coming up, like always, and he's like, Morning, Kanto champion. But don't get too comfortable with that title. I plan on stealing it from you. First, though, did you hear the rumors? There's talk going around about some crazy strong-looking Pokemon being spotted. What kind of Pokemon is it? I hear it looks super strong and super cool. The Pokemon was seen near Cerulean City. And apparently it ran away into a cave somewhere there. That's all I know. So, I say we both go try and catch this Pokemon. Whoever catches it first is the winner. Okay, alrighty. So... A few things change after you defeat the Elite Four. There's actually quite a few things that are that are going to be uh, registered right here. So, stepping outside, look what happens right here. Look at that. Our adventure is expanding right here. Look at that. Your world expanded after becoming champion. You can now fly up in the sky with Charizard, Aerodactyl, and Dragonite anywhere you want. Hey, sorry to bug you for a uh, bug you while your world is, is expanding. Remember me? I'm Ronnie from Route 1. Now that you successfully become champion, I've got some news for you. The Master Trainers, trainers that have spent their whole, whole careers training one specific Pokemon, have appeared throughout Kanto. I'd say challenging the Pikachu Master is a good place to start. Head to the Viridian Forest if you want to face her. If you want to know the details, talk to me. Well... That's another detail right there for another episode, but from what just happened is this. 151, probably, Pokemon trainers have uh, just came out with their very specific Pokemon. They have trained one specific Pokemon for this purpose only. Yes, that means there is a Master Trainer for a Magikarp. Defeating them is going to be a huge task, guys, because if one, you gotta locate them, and two, you gotta beat them. And there are no there are no pushovers right here. Master trainers are all over the place, and if you manage to beat a certain amount, you actually get rewards and stuff. Uh, as you can see, the first master trainer that we see is a Pidgey Master Trainer. And then there is a Parasect ma uh, Master Trainer. Again, you have to have these Pokemon in order to defeat these guys right here, and Wow, we can't even cross over this place? Wow. So yeah, guys. That is the deal right there. And there is a certain trainer that you need to actually beat. Or there's a certain trainer that you can actually fight. After you defeat at least five Master Trainer. And look at that, Pikachu's happy right now. Oh my god. So what's going to happen right now is I'm going to use a Sky Dash. And we're going to go straight to the Cerulean City. Because this episode is mainly about that one rare Pokemon that Trace has been talking to us about. Yep, we're talking about Mewtwo. Now, this is my second attempt in trying to I try to get Mewtwo. Believe it or not, I kind of screwed up the first time. I Yeah, I, I don't even want to talk about it. But as you can see, there are two Master Trainers right here. Jinx and Golduck. And, well, huh, look at that, Dragonite is interested in the sounds of the fountain. So, we're going to get off of Dragonite right here. And, let's see. For this episode, for this episode here, we are going to be using the whole arsenal. And that means going up against Mewtwo. As you can see here, hey champion, you're allowed to enter this cave from now on. I'll face you as a coach trainer. Are you ready? Let's battle. All right. So here we go, guys. Another Pokemon battle against another coach trainer right here. His name is Harjeet. And he will be coming out with a ride on. Holy crud. This guy's looking all mean and everything. But guess what? Pikachu's got more than just one uh, thunder move right here. Yeah, he's got himself a splishy splash. Ready to splishy splash his way through your heart. Look at that. Hydration at its finest. 
Say goodbye to Rhydon. Oh yeah, I'm feeling good about that one right there. And, well, let's see, he's coming out with a Nido King. Might as well use Mew de Uno while we're at it. Now, in my original run against Mewtwo, I made the mistake of going up against Mewtwo with Mew. And the biggest issue there is that Mewtwo likes to use Amnesia to heighten, it, heighten up its uh, special defense. So, the best way to go about Mewtwo in this game is going physical. So, I got two Pokemon that can be very physical against this guy. The only problem is Mewtwo does have uh, Recover, so kind of don't want that on you. And look at that, he's coming out with a Rapidash, so we're going to go with Leonardo right here. Alrighty. Leonardo, let's go. Now, I might be putting in my Charizard into this game right here. Just so we can take care of this guy. And uh, look at that. He's got Rapidash. Looking all majestic as fuck. But guess what? I got Hydro Pump. Look at that. Who would ever thought I would be using Hydro Pump one of my Pokemon? Holy crud. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty. I see you. And, well, he's coming out with a Dugong, so let's go right back at Sparky right here. Alrighty. See what we got. Let's go, Sparky. You got this, Sparky. And, well, this guy coming with his Dugong, ready to go. Ready to do some stuff, but guess what? I got Thunder. And, of course, he's going to avoid this attack, and he's going to be going with a Mega Horn right here. So, let's go right ahead and use Thunder. And, of course, he's going to be avoiding everything. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Okay, so Sparky is getting his butt kicked right now. Oh, wow. Seriously, Dugong? Avoiding my Thunder attacks? This is ridiculous. Okay, here we go. Wow. So, we're both avoiding attacks right now. Come on. Get another Thunder. We missed out on three Thunders right here. This is ridiculous. And there we go. Fried dugong for dinner. Look at that. Okay, alrighty, okay. And, well, he's coming out with a Sea King. Yes, I already know what's going to happen to the Sea King. And it's not going to be good. So let's go right ahead. Use a Thunder Attack. And, of course, he's avoiding the attack with a Waterfall. Crap baskets, okay. Let's go again. Thunder, come on. There we go. And there we go. So there we go. Gold or Seeking is defeated and Harjeet has been defeated. So after defeating this guy right here, he will actually give you another TM. And of course he says he doesn't stand a chance. He gives us Mega Horn, which is a very good move. And well, let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this right. I'm gonna do this right. I gotta, I gotta actually, I gotta actually give that Mega Horn to somebody because, uh, you know, Mewtwo, yeah, he he really kicked my ass in the last the last go around. Kind of want to be specific about this one, so let's go right ahead and see who can learn Mega Horn right here. So TM60, and it looks like wow, Mew de Uno can learn it. So let's go right ahead and teach Mew, uh, Mew de Uno Mega Horn right here. Take away Mega Drain, and you know you would you would think that Needle Queen can actually learn Mega Horn, but it can't. Okay, so another thing too, yeah, I kind of want to take out Mew de Uno from its Pokeball. That way, it can actually locate some of my other items right here too. So here we are, guys, in the Cerulean Cave, and well. As you can see, gold bats are going to be all over the place. And, wow, Mew is suddenly spinning in circles right here. So, we're going to be using our sea skim And, well, let's go right ahead and continue on with getting some items right here. Now, in this area right here, in uh, the Cerulean Cave in Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu, you will be finding a lot more items than usual. Just like in the uh, in uh, Mount Moon, you'll be able to find uh, specific items every single day. So it's not going to run out. It's not like it's going to run out, especially if you want to 
continue capturing Pokemon and you know building up that revenue and all that stuff as you can see we found ourselves a great ball right here and there is a Chansey right there look at that okay so we're gonna try and capture this Chansey okay holy crap I can't even capture it how do you okay there we go it's just a flick of the wrist guys just a flick of the wrist and as many of you guys already know you capture a Chansey you get a lot of experience points at it so this is a very good place to actually try and capture Chanseys as you can see Dragonite has just grown to level 67 and look at that the egg Pokemon right there okay and well let's go ahead and grab that we found ourselves a max lure course that will actually help you capture or find some other rare Pokemon right here and here we have a great ball this is the specific room to actually let's see this is the actual uh, what you call it room that you can actually find specific items as you can see Pikachu's tail is wagging and we found ourselves a golden Nana berry and well here's another item right here found ourselves pokeball and we're just gonna keep on going and oh crap baskets <laughs> okay so we're gonna run away because I kinda don't feel like capturing right on right now and there's a lick -a tongue and it looks like to me Mew has found something and we found ourselves a pearl so this is great again guys you can find items here every single time and there we go. There we go. Found ourselves a golden raspberry. And there is another Chansey. So I'm going to try and get... Like, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that there's Chanseys here. And I can just capture the... Seriously, come on. There we go. I'm just going to take advantage of the fact that, you know, you can capture Chanseys here easily rather than, like, on outside in the wild. And if you do combo... If you do combination uh, or a chain capturing, then it will actually build up your team just a little bit better. And good gravy, come on. All right, you want a berry? Let's go with the raspberry right here. There we go, and it is nice. And there we go, we caught ourselves another Chansey. All right, let's see how much we get. 6,000 experience points. Look at that. So, right here, guys. This is the place to go if you need to train up your Pokemon for those Master Trainers. And Mew is finally learning Metronome. Kind of don't want to teach it because it's like, seriously? It took you that long to get a Metronome? Come on, man. All right, so that that's done. And, well, there's an item right here. Found ourselves a Pokeball. And let's go ahead and grab this. Found ourselves a rare candy, which is always nice to have. And here we have another Pokeball right here. Five Ultra Balls. And look at that. We're finding bear or we're finding berries, we're finding items every single time. I did hear of a rumor that you can find a Master Ball here if you just keep on if you keep on searching, which is pretty awesome if it if that's the truth. Comment down below if you guys uh, have ever heard of that rumor. Or if it's not a rumor, if it's, like, the truth. And look at that. We found ourselves a full restore. Probably something that I should have used. And, well, there's a Geodude looking for us right there. And, again, here's another item. A golden pinat berry. And, let's see. Where is another... I'm, I'm looking at every single bright spot right here. And... Okay, so there's nothing. So go to this corner right here, guys, and you'll be able to find the next exit, which is right here. I know that I'm surpassing all the freaking, uh, the, the, oh, crud. Damn it! Yeah, like, I'm surpassing all the items right here, but I kind of want to get to Mewtwo right now. And, well, let's see what Mew, let's, let's see what Pikachu has to say. And Pikachu feels a tension in the air. It seems a little afraid. Come on, Pikachu. You are not afraid. And look at that. There is... You can actually find... Uh, what's him call it? Ditto right here. 
try I'm not trying to mess with Ditto right now. I do have bad experiences with Dittos. And we're gonna try and find some more items while we're at it. As you can see, there are some Pokeballs left and right. So let's see, we found ourselves an escape rope, which is great. And well, let's see. Is there anything else right here that we can actually find? Nope. Just a right horn that nearly nicked us right there. And well, let's go ahead and grab that. Found ourselves a full restore. And Mew is looking uh looks like it feels some kind of presence. You don't say. Okay, so let's see. Again, I'm looking for some items, and Mew has found something. And... Oh, wow, it's spinning. Huh. There's something right here. Huh. There's something right here. Huh. Wow, there's a Mew, or the, there's a lick of tongue right here in our way. Yeah, this fat ass will not get out of the way, so I'm just gonna have to, like, run away. Mm-mm. Okay, so... Let's go right ahead and grab this. Here we have a Max Elixir. And, well, I think we are towards the end of this whole thing right here. So let's go ahead and use Sea Skim. And here we are. Okay, so we're going to do this right. We're going to save the game. And let's see. All right, we got two Pokemon right here that can actually do the job, but I kind of want to add somebody, like somebody in here. Let's see. Let's take out Smasher. And you know what? Leonardo has to take a backseat to this one because he is not ready for this guy. Let's go right ahead and put Godzilla in here and Ultra Psycho. Just for that one, and you know what? Huh. Let's see. Huh. This, it does have some pretty good attack right there. You know what? Let's go right ahead and take out... No, actually, you know what? I'm okay with the team that I have right here. Okay, so... Let's see. Who will be the first Pokemon to go at, at Mewtwo? Definitely not Sparky. Let's try Sand Slash for right now. And then after that, we can just have a backup plan with Ultra Psycho and everybody else. So, here it is. What's up? What's up? <laughs> oh, damn. This guy's going Ultra Instinct on us. Jesus. Okay, so here it is guys. We're gonna be battling against Mewtwo and its stats have risen This guy is a powerful Pokemon. It's very fast and it does like to use recover and amnesia. It's special attack Psychic as you can see Bam just hits us right off the bat right here. So here we go with X scissors super physical and It looks like to me that it's going to have to the same result right here. This guy using Psychic. Alrighty, so... Okay, so I see where this is going to be going. Let's go to the next Pokemon right here. Let's go straight to Ultra Psycho. It is a little bit faster, hopefully. So here we go. What's up, Ultra Psycho? Haven't seen you in like a minute or two. Let's go with a Shadow Ball. Oh, damn. And wow. Oh my god, and look at that. It took a lot of its special attack, a special defense. So we got an opening right there. And this guy right here is going to be using recover. So that's cool for us because now we're going to be able to actually beat this guy down a little bur further. So here we go. Shadow Ball. Almost beats this guy. And well, that is the opening we needed right there. Let's go, Ultra Psycho. Mewtwo may recover all he wants, but he's not going to get away from this one right here. Look at that. So here we go. One more Shadow Ball for the win. Mewtwo has been defeated.
And look at that. We have seen Mewtwo. Yeah, this Pokemon is the most difficult one to catch. And since there is no other rare Pokemon out there, I might as well use the appropriate ball right here. That's right. There we go. Master Ball, go! <laughs> you can't deny it. Look at that, look at that. And that is how you do it, guys. Caught ourselves Mewtwo. And because of that, we get a lot of experience points and a lot of everything, and yeah. <laughs> Poor Sandslash doesn't get any experience points, but we get some leveling up. And look at this. The entry. Mewtwo has been added. The genetic Pokemon. It is a very big Pokemon right here. Its DNA is almost the same as Mew's. However, its size and disposition are vastly different. Yeah, that right there is a scary Pokemon. And, well, I'm going to shake this thing. And Pikachu, what are you saying? He is happy. Look at that. He's staring at the Pokemon you use and with wonder and joy in his eyes. That's right, Pikachu. We caught ourselves another Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this Mewtwo. Alrighty. Going all the way down. Look at that. Okay, so let's check on this Mewtwo. As you can see, Mewtwo, the naughty Pokemon right here. Alert to sounds and everything. It's psychic. As you can see, it is a freaking tank of a Pokemon. It was speedy, it was hurdy, it was just bad. Look at that. And then uh, if you take a look at its judge, well, it has great stats. Not perfect, but it has great stats right here. So that is that for this Pokemon. And well, let's get the heck out of here. Let's go ahead and grab some items while we're at it. And... Yeah, just complete the whole thing right here. Again, there are some more items that you can actually find right here, guys. And that's probably what I'm going to be doing. Just like, you know, walking around, grabbing items, talking about the future and all that stuff. Because technically, technically speaking, we're, we're almost done with this game right here. Uh, there's not a lot that we can do except battle the Master Trainers, uh, battle some rivals and all that stuff. And that is exactly what we're going to do within the next few episodes. Once I start leveling up my team, because Master Trainers have Pokemon within the level 70s and all that stuff, and then a specific trainer has Pokemon at the level 80s, or at the level 80s, so I kind of need to really, really train my Pokemon and really come out with this guy as a really good battle and all that stuff. And here we found ourselves a Golden Raspberry. And, well, let's see, we're going to go downstairs right here. So, anywho, guys, this was it right here for this part, and let's see, Mew is looking at something, and we found ourselves another big pearl right here, which is great. So, like I said, off-screen, I will be capturing different Pokemon. I will be adding some more Pokemon through the, through the, uh, what was it, Pokemon Home. Uh, I may have said this a while back, but... My buddy from Pokemon Adventures HD, you know, the channel that is linked to this channel right here, will be starting up his Pokemon Let's Go Eevee walkthrough. Yes, I know, he has so many walkthroughs. Focus on one. But he wants to kind of do this to link it with this one right here. Plus, just to give me some Pokemon that, you know, give me some Pokemon that we can actually... We, 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 we can't get in this version. You know, version exclusives and whatnot. And there is something right here. That we're not looking at. There we go. Found ourselves a Max Revive. And again, the we're just going through areas right here. And look at that. We found ourselves another Golden Peanut Berry right here. And well, that's what's going to happen. And I believe it's going to be just like it's just going to be like a like like this. It's going to be an everyday thing for the Let's Go Eevee walkthrough and stuff. Chances are, might be transferring Pokemon left and right right here. That way, you know, you could see some different Pokemon and all that stuff. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? But as far as, as far as for this game, it has been fun. Really, really, really fun, guys. Uh, very excited about how it went. 
And on top of that, I just, you know, I'm very, I'm very happy of the fact that, you know, it responded well with my capture card right here. Again, guys, I did not download this on an emulator. I do not have this on a Switch emulator of some sort. This is all Nintendo, Nintendo Switch right here. So, again, whoever's been asking me this, it's fine. It's just, this is not an emulator. If I had the emulator, I would have sent you the link. So, there we go. Capture card complete, and, well... That is pretty much it, and look at that. Trace is like, hey, Draven! Oh, wait, don't tell me. You already caught the, you already caught the super strong Pokemon, didn't you? I knew it! So it's, it's called Mewtwo, huh? Dot, dot, dot. Man, you got to Mewtwo before me, or that girl? Wait, what girl? Huh? Oh, I ran into this gutsy girl who said she was looking for a powerful Pokemon. I think she meant Mewtwo. Well, I guess that's that. Here, take these. I don't need them now. And we got ourselves escape ropes, which, you know, we pretty much don't need. I just saw that girl come in here, too. She must still be looking for Mewtwo. You should go, you should go show it to her. Yeah, not going to do that. I am not going to do that. So, yes, guys. There's still a lot to be done. Well, a little bit to be done. I need to only beat five Master Trainers in order to unlock one little thing, which I will be doing pretty soon. And then, once we defeat our rivals, eh, then that's, I guess that's pretty much it right there. Because, again, I don't really think I want to go ahead and just battle all these Master Trainers right here. It's not really my bag, but, you know, it has to be done if it has to be unlocked. Like, if it has to unlock a few, uh, if it has to unlock a few things within this game right here. Now, it's very easy for me to actually find five, five Pokemon because, of course... If you guys can see right here in the Pokemon box, I do have two sets of teams right here that I can actually use a different Pokemon for. As you can probably tell, I can use Dragonite's Needle Needlequeen, uh, Mew, if they even have one, Sandslash, and uh, Blastoise. And then there's more like, you know, Gyarados, Thrasher, or Needle King, Char Charizard, uh, Snorlax, and Alakazam. So... We'll see what happens. Those five trainers will be... We'll, we'll get to those five trainers eventually. And then hopefully, hopefully, just hopefully, we'll finish up this whole thing right here. So again, guys, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.